Let's take a look at how we can create a QR code and generate a QR code here in Adobe InDesign. So what we'll need to do is go up to the object window. You can think about it like we're creating an object. Down here about halfway is generate QR code. Once we have that open, we can decide between the content of the QR code and also the color. The color we can change later, so I would just keep this on black. In the content, we have different types. We have plain text, we could do a web hyperlink, we could do a text message, an email, or what you might be interested in is a business card. So we would type in all the information we would like to include. You don't have to fill in all of these boxes, but whatever you'd like to include here, you can type it in. So I'll do just my name and then a URL. Now to be safe, you might even do the full HTTP on URLs just to make sure that it really gets to the right location. Maybe an, add an S there if you have that security setting on the website. However, name, URL, hit OK, and it's going to generate this QR code. It's already on the tooltip of my cursor. Now, if I just click, it's going to place it out here. I can probably also click and drag and place it in a frame the size of my choosing. Once I have that, if we scale this frame up and down, it's just going to scale the frame, which basically will cut off the QR code. So to scale this up and down, you're going to want to press E, which is the scale tool. Now, one thing you cannot do is not hold shift. See how it skews the QR code? That's going to ruin it completely. So when you have E selected, that scale tool, you'll also want to hold shift while you're scaling this up and down. Now, unfortunately, you can't see a preview here, but one little trick you can do, pressing V for the selection tool, we can right click on this and go to fitting, and then we can fill the frame proportionally fit content proportionally, and there's a lot of different options here. What I would do is fit the frame to the content. So that frame is going to fit to the QR code a little bit better. Now you can always bring that in, so we could press Z and kind of click and drag here to zoom in on a corner. And what we could do is bring this frame into the very edge of our QR code if we wanted to line it up just like that. And then if we zoom out some, we can then drag it over to line it up to the edge here. So same thing with the top, you could bring this down, kind of lock it into the top of the QR code. Pressing the W key, I'm gonna show my own margins with this page. I'm gonna bring it up to this corner, pressing E for that scale tool, grabbing this corner and holding shift while I scale this down and maybe match it to the logo that's below it and run it along this column line right here. So that's how you can kind of uh, work with that to align it to other elements, just adjust your frame. The fitting maybe didn't work as well because there is some padding on the QR code. However, you can always adjust that frame uh, to a custom size. So there we go. We've got these two elements on here. Personally, I think they compete with each other. I might even shrink this guy down a little bit more. Uh, you know, bring that QR code down a little bit so it's not quite as dominant as the logo in the corner down here. A lot of different ways you can work with this. You don't even have to put the logo here. You could put it over by your name or you could just not even have it on this side of the card because on the other side, we had this, this logo just kind of taking up the whole other side. Now, one thing you can do with your QR code, if you right click on it, you can actually go to edit QR code right here. So when we edit that QR code, we can change the information in it. We can also change the color. So if we wanted to change, for instance, if I wanted it to be the blue color that I have in this design, I can select that blue swatch. I can come over here to content and maybe I needed to add an organization here, pixel and bracket, and then hit OK. And that's going to adjust the QR code so that it includes that information. And then, of course, it turned it into that blue color as well. So that's how you can make adjustments to the information of a specific QR code and also how you can change the color of it. So really easy now to add QR codes to your designs here in Adobe InDesign.